All right, anatomy and physiology students. Uh, this is a review of tissue slides for the lab. Just a reminder that you definitely want to use your wish list to go along with this so that you're only identifying the things that are actually on the wish list. This first slide is what we call a smear of some motor neurons or multipolar neurons as they're calling them from the ventral horn of the spinal cord and you can see all the um, cells on the slide here. Under higher power you can see the cell body, you can see dendrites where you can clearly see them branching, the probable axon and the bigger part of the cell where it's coming off here, obviously the cell bo body with its nucleus, and a bunch of neuroglial cells. Those might be astrocytes or microglial cells, the immune cells. Here you can see the cell even further up close with the axon coming off, definitely a dendrite coming off there, the cell body and some of those uh, neuroglial, probably astrocytes most of them. Again, yet another view of a, a motor neuron in a smear with a lot of astrocytes around it, dendrites coming off there. This is now a nerve, a bundle of neurons in longitudinal section, uh, showing some of that perineum tissue and the fascicles or bundles of neurons, seeing them up a little bit closer. When I say bundles of neurons, I really mean bundles of axons. These are all the axons running around down here with the fascicles surrounded by the perineurium. Even more up close now is where you can see um, realize if you slice across something as thin as a neuron along its length, along an axon, you're going to just barely see for some regions the shadow of that axon. There's the shadow of that axon, the shadow of that axon, and then they're surrounded by the whitish myelin material and the Schwann cells. So they say here you can even see some of those Schwann cell nuclei and the Schwann cells that are surrounding the axon there. In some places you can see where the Schwann, the whitish material, pinches in, forming what's a node of Ranbir. That one doesn't look as clear to me, of the Schwann cells. This is now a nerve that's been cut in cross section, so it's been cut across the nerve, and you again can see the fascicles of neurons, the bundles of neurons with the perineurium around it, the epineurium interspersed with it, out that. Um, and there you can see that endoneurium, the connective tissue within there. The axons themselves are so tiny, even under 400x, they look like little dots when we cut across them. So you can see the little dots. In some places, you can see them surrounded by the myelin, the whitish myelin material, and the Schwann cells. Okay, continuing on. This is now just another view of a, of a bunch of axons that have been cut along longitudinally, even a little higher power, 600x, with a different stain. And so again, you can see the Schwann cell nuclei, and you can see the, the, the axon running down the middle there with the myelin around it, and you can really nicely see a node of Ranvier where the myelin pinches in between two adjacent Schwann cells. So pretty nice view there. So that's it. Again, I uh, hope that review helps and please be sure to use your wish list to get all the things that I would uh, like you to know from those slides. Goodbye.